Hello there, welcome back to Selenium Ninja for Selenium Training. In one of my previous lectures, I have clearly shown you how you can scroll a web page. But today we are going to see some advanced methods to scroll a web page. The previous video link is in the description box. So suppose you are on a website and you want to click using an element. This is an element here. Suppose you want to click by providing the details of this value. And uh, there is one, another important uh, part that is if you want to scroll the page upwards. So how can you scroll the page upwards? So let us see in the execution. I have created this project previously because if I uh, create this project right now, it takes some time to add some dependencies. So I am sure you must be aware with this. So let me just create a simple class here. If you are not aware of the how to add the files, please refer to the previous videos. The first step is to invoke a Chrome browser. So let me just copy the code to invoke the Chrome browser. All right. So let us direct to the URL driver dot get and let me copy the url from here here you can import the chrome driver first all right now we want to scroll using this element here collect categories to bag all right let's inspect on this element So we will be generating our X path. All right, guys. The tag here is H4. And on the text here is categories to bag. So I, I am sure you must be able to create an X path. So double slash. And uh, H4. I think it was H4, right? And the syntax. Text and paste the value of the text attribute all right it has highlighted this particular attribute let's copy our x path from here if you are not aware how you can do this please refer to the previous lectures web element because this time we will be scrolling with the help of a web element scr is equal to driver dot find element by x path all right now your x path is stored import the packages for web element all right now as in my previous video the link i have shared in the description box i have told you what is a javascript executor and how we can uh, scroll uh, uh, the page with the help of javascript executor so let me create the object of javascript executor class basically javascript executor is used to uh, is used for the javascript methods that are used in selenium so the javascript methods in selenium can be handled by javascript executor here you need to cast the javascript to your driver all right guys import the javascript executor package now javascript executor provides us two methods java js dot execute and execute a sync script and executes a sync script so let's go with the execute script and javascript executor provides us a method called scroll into view basically scroll into view method scroll the specified element into the visible area of the browser window so the syntax of that is first part is the arguments part arguments zero what does this argument zero mean and why is this important arguments means the first index of the page if you use any other value than zero then it will fail the script because 
it is starting zero means start from the first index of the page all right guys dot and the method name is scroll into view this method is used to scroll to the specified element all right and it accepts a value a boolean value either true or either false so if for example we set the value as true it means the top of the element will be aligned to the top of the visible screen and let's remove this argument here and here we have passed our path into the web element called SCR so let's copy it from here and pass it here and let's use a semicolon our script is completed so let us execute the script in the next part we will be uh, providing uh, the value false and we will see how it goes all right guys so let me execute the script first You can see guys, our script is working and it went actually to the categories to the blog from the top portion. Alright guys, so there was a, here was a small issue with the script but it still ran and that was semicolon. Now if I set the value to false, let's see the execution and let's close the driver also. driver.close to close the browser all right guys let's execute the script again with the follow value this time the browser has been invoked The CMD was some system issue, not the script issue. And the website is loading. The website is still loading. and you can see it has scrolled the page and it has closed the browser all right guys now there is another thing if you want to scroll the page in upwards for that you don't have to do much you have to just use the negative values as you you have been doing in the previous video for example javas js dot execute script window dot scroll by and here you provide the values the value the usually values are zero and thousand all right so this way you scroll the web page but to scroll this web page in the up direction you need to just mention the minus sign so that means it will move the it will scroll the page upwards and remove this argument here let's let's execute our script i think we need to enter yes scroll upwards uh first let me add some timer here so you can see the execution clearly and let us execute the script
so one browser is invoked and the websites with high graphic image with high images take some time to load the website is loading at the moment it has scrolled and it has scrolled upwards successfully i hope guys this video was helpful if you do don't forget to like comment and subscribe this channel thank you and stay tuned with the playlist